So in this particular chapter, we'll see on how you can stop and start an instance at a particular moment in time. So to do that, let's first create an instance. So I'm in my GCP console. Let's go to our compute engine and let's first create an instance. So I'll click on VM instance. And let's create our instance. So I'll make this an E2 micro. And I'll change the boot disk to standard persistence. So I'm doing this so that this falls under the free tire. And that's about it. So let's create our instance. OK, so our instance is created. So if you go to your instance page, you'll also see another tab called Instance Schedule. So let's click on this and let's create a schedule. So I already have an instance. So let's delete this and create a new one. So I'll open this. I'll delete this. OK, so now let's create a schedule. To do that, you can just click on the Create Schedule icon. And here you can give a name for your schedule. So I'll just call this as My Schedule. And the region I need to specify is US Central because that is where my resource is. So it's specific to where your particular resource is. So for example, if your resource is in North America, Northeast too, then you need to click on this particular icon. Now, since I have created my particular virtual machine is in US Central one, so I'll click on this. And here I need to mention the start time and the stop time. So this is going to be based on my time zone. So currently I'm in India. So let's just put this as India. And here you need to specify the start time. So currently the time is around 2.28.28. So let's make this as around 8.40. Now here one important thing to note is that if you go through the documentation, it's mentioned here that you have to give a 15 minutes leeway. So if I give it at 8.40, there is no guarantee that it'll start at 8.40. There is a possibility that it'll take up to 15 minutes. So let's assume you want to make it start at 8.40, then you need to give your start time 15 minutes prior to that. So you can give it as 8.25. So it's, so it's based on when you want to run your particular virtual machine. So again, like for example, if you want to run it at 9 a.m., then the start time that you need to specify would be around 8.45. So you need to give at least 15 minutes time. Uh, and that generally does happen because I've tried it a few times and it generally takes around 10 minutes after you've given your start time for the virtual machine to actually start running. So that's one thing that you need to take care of. And okay, so let's just give this as, let's say 840. So if, it, if I give it at 840, then the possibility is that it will start running from around 855 AM or somewhere around that time. And you can keep the end time at, let's say around, uh, let's make it as 930 AM. So Everything else is everything else remains the same. You can also give an initial date and an end date, but I'll just leave it as blank. So if I leave it at, as blank, then it'll immediately start working. So this is something that you can give based on your requirement. And the frequency is also very important. So you can either have it daily on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis. So let's give it as daily. So if you give it as weekly, then you need to specify on which days of the week you want it to run. And similarly, if you give it as monthly, then again, you need to specify on which days of the month you want it to run. So this is a very nice UI and it's very easy for you to schedule. And everything else is the same. So I've given 840. So I would assume that it would run around 855 and the stop time is around 9.30 AM. And let's click on OK. OK, so I'll just make this as repeat daily. Click on OK. OK, so once you've created your schedule, you just need to add your instance into that particular schedule. So let's click on my schedule again. So this is the schedule that I just created. So the next thing you need to do is you just need to add that instance to the schedule. Let's click on this and you will see a filter which has the instance that you've just created. So you can just click on this and click on add. And it will throw you this particular error. So what it states is that there is a service account by this particular name. And within this particular service account, you need to add these two permissions. So let's do that. So this is the service account that the compute engine system uses to start and stop the instance. So let's copy this particular service account. And let's go to our IAM. So I've opened my IAM for this particular project. So if I copy this particular service account 
And if I search for it in my IAM page, you will not find it. Now that's because it's a Google provided role grant. So you need to click on this particular checkbox to make it appear. And if you search for that particular service account, you will see it right now. And what you need to do is in this particular service account, you need to add the compute instance start and the compute instance stop permission. So to do that, what I'll do is I will instead create a role and that particular role I will assign to this particular service account. And that particular role will contain the permission that's needed. So let's do that. So let's go to our IAM. And what I need to do is I need to open my roles. And here I'll create a new role. So I've already created the same role, but let's create it again. So let's click on create role. So I'll just call this as create role start stop. And here all that I need to do is I will just make this as general availability and add the permissions. So the permissions that I require are these. So it should be the compute instant start. So let's just copy this. And let's paste it here. So this is one of the permission. And the other one similarly is let's the compute instance top. And let's check on this and let's click on add. And let's create this particular rule. And once this role is created, all that I need to do is I just need to assign that service account, that particular role, this particular role that I've created. So let's go back to our IAM. Let's tick on this. And let's find our So this is the service account. So let's just verify it once more. So I just copy this. So this is the one. So let's edit this and I'll add another rule. And this is again going to be the custom rule. And this is going to be the create start stop. So let's click on this and let's click on save. Okay, so now that we've added our custom role, let's go back and let's try to add that instance to the schedule again. So let's click on add instance to schedule. Click on this and click on add. And now you can see that it has updated successfully. So what I'll do now is the instance that I have, I will just stop this particular instance. And hopefully by around 850, 855, this particular instance should start again. So let's refresh this. So now it's in a stopped state. So let's go and revisit this particular page at around 850. And we should see that this particular state should be running again. Okay, you can see that it's around 854 and it this particular instance started a few minutes back. So it took around 10 to 12 minutes for this instance to start. So that is it for this lecture. So the important thing to remember for starting your schedule is to just give at least 10 to 15 minutes of leeway. So for example, if you want to start your virtual machine at 9 a.m., make sure that you give a start time of around 8.45 a.m. That's it for this lecture. I will see you in the next.